Well, hello everybody. I thought I have a couple pounds of ground venison meat I took out of the freezer and I thought I'd do some venison Philly cheesesteak cheese sliders, but instead of on rolls and stuff, I'm just gonna put them on some uh, burger buns that I had left. I have some everything burger buns and some brioche buns and I wanted to get these used up. And I'm also going to throw in a pound of ground beef that I still have and get that all in mixed in with the venison ground beef. So all together I got three pounds of meat. One is just regular ground beef and the other is two pounds of the venison. Okay, we're going to cook that all up real good and a lot of people like to chop their own onions and uh, uh, sweet bell pepper and even put mushrooms in it whether it's baby bella or whatever kind of mushrooms you like but there's only very few here that eats all that so to make everybody happy I'm not using any of it I ran out of onion powder, so I'm just going to use a little bit of minced onion, just a little bit. And then I'm going to use, instead of mincing up garlic, I'm just going to make it fast and super easy and just use the garlic powder. Because the garlic cloves, I always have. Okay, we'll let that get cooked up. And throw a little salt and pepper in it, and then we'll cook that up, and then we'll put the rest in it. I'm using about a teaspoon of kosher salt. So like I said, when it's all made, you can always taste it and then see if you need more. I'm using about three-fourths teaspoons of black pepper. Okay, just mix that all up in good and get the meat cooked and we'll add the rest. Okay, the meat's all cooked. The ground beef, the pound, and the two pounds of the venison. All right, now we've already put about a teaspoon of salt in it. And if you need more salt at the end, you can always add it and then I put in three-fourths teaspoon of black pepper. But I'm sure if you like sweet bell peppers and fresh chopped onions and minced garlic, that would be good to throw it right in. And I'm gonna put in maybe a teaspoon and a half of minced onion. And then instead of mincing garlic this time, I'm gonna use garlic powder going to use two teaspoons. Okay. Stir that all up good. Okay, now I'm going to add in three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire. Okay, that was three tablespoons. Give that a quick stir. Super fast, super easy. going to add in a couple cups of beef broth. And we'll let that cook for a few minutes and then we'll come back and throw in a couple tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it a little bit. Okay, let that cook for a few minutes. That's what it looks like. All right, and now we're going to thicken it with some cornstarch. I have a couple tablespoons in here. Just sprinkle that all around. Without making a mess like I just did. Okay. Stir that all in good. Let that cook for a couple minutes to thicken up. 
Now remember, you don't want this because we're making sliders on it. We're going to put it on, you can use rolls if you like, and uh, it would be good with cheddar cheese, but I'm just using what I have left here. Been cleaning out the fridge and the cupboard so I can get ready for another big shopping, but I'm just going to use, instead of cheddar cheese, I'm going to use what I have, and I've got a lot of uh, just regular American sliced cheese. And like I said, I'm going to use up those burger buns and stuff, and I'm going to use that instead of rolls. And just going to slap the meat on it on a baking tray, lightly butter it, put the top on, maybe put a little, brush a little melted butter on the top, and just, well, slap the cheese on the, on top of the meat, and then just melt it till the cheese is melted in the oven, just bake it. Can't get no easier than that. Okay, let me show you what this is starting to look like. All right. See, it's starting to thicken up. All that liquid will get absorbed in there really nice. I'm telling you, everyone, it smells so good. We're just using the garlic powder and the minced onion and Worcestershire and salt and pepper. and oh, it Smells really good in that beef broth. Okay, gonna let that cook for two minutes. Then it'll be time to put it all together. Okay, see how it all is absorbed real good? And it's just wet enough to make it make it nice. Do you see that? All right. Okay. I decided to Instead of the everything burger buns and the brioche buns, I decided to put them on sub rolls. I figured that would hold better. All right, so I got a parchment lined bacon sheet. I put the meat in the sub rolls and I was gonna use some nacho melted cheese with some cheddar cheese, but I only had mozzarella cheese and orange and yellow American sliced cheese. So you see, I got the meat all in here and I'm throwing down some American sliced cheese and then I'm going to throw on some mozzarella working with what I got but if I had the nacho cheese I would have heated it up in a pan and put that on with some cheddar and that would have been really really good okay and then we're just gonna stick it in the oven until the cheese melts because the meat's already nice and hot and i melted just a little bit of butter and i'm just gonna go in and i'm gonna do the inside the bun real quick like just like that just to give it a little extra flavor and then we're just going to put it in the oven until the cheese melts. And if you wanted to, instead of just regular butter, you could even make it into a garlic butter. But the flavor of that meat, I think, is just right. So we're going to do it just like that. Okay. And there we have it. One tray done. Now I'll work on the next. Okay, these just came out of the oven, and that's what it looks like. Okay, and like I said, you could use whatever kind of cheese that you would like, and um, do your own thing. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Take care and God bless you. Bye-bye.